Hi and welcome to my 10 points in 10. I am Lisa Yara, a menstrual and menopausal health coach and confidant through challenging life transitions. I've been on the podcast here a couple of months ago in the episode Embrace Cyclical Living to Live Life to the Fullest. And I just want to give you a heads up about this idea of living life to the fullest because it can be easily used to beat yourself up that you're somehow failing because you don't feel like you're living life to the fullest. And I believe it's more about living like being more present in the moment in your life with whatever it is that you're doing and a cycle is inherently regenerative and with each cycle you complete because we all complete different cycles all the time you kind of come full circle so it's, it's that sense of leading a full life where you come full circle every so often a life that is full of yourself because when you are full of yourself there is no room for other people's expectations or thoughts or opinions to derail you so it's actually a good thing to be full of yourself uh, a life that respects all the different phases that you go through in your human experience we all do also, I want to just mention, you do have a cycle, whether you menstruate or not, because all beings are cyclical. It's just that we have different cycles that are based on different lengths and such. So what I'm about to share is relevant to you, whether you're a man, a woman, a non-binary person, because you are a human being on planet Earth, Earth, and as such, you are a cyclical being. So without further ado, here are my 10 points in 10. One life is cyclical <laughs> as much as our minds and society tries to make us believe nothing in this world works in a linear way it always works in rhythms and cycles even change time healing they are also cyclical and every once in a while you will find yourself at a place that you seem to know already and that's okay. It's not like you haven't made progress. You have come full circle and you are at a similar place than you maybe were before, but with new insights, with new experience, maybe with new opinions. And then you can enter this next round from this different place where you are more grounded and connected to yourself. Second, you don't have to be, feel or show up the same every day. In fact, you can't. Again, this world is cyclical and there are a million different cycles influencing you every day. There is a sun cycle, so the time of day. There is a moon cycle, so how much of the sun's light the moon reflects back, back to us. There is a yearly cycle, the seasons that influence you. There is the life cycle, like what phase of your life are you in? And then there are things like projects at work or life projects and those influence you too. So expecting yourself to show up the same every day which is what society preaches, can't work. Trying to be the same every day will inevitably lead to burnout. And so be yourself instead, day by day, minute by minute. And I know that this journey of being true to yourself isn't easy, and it's my personal journey too, but it's worth it. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Three, your cycle is your compass, guide, and ally. Again, whether you have a menstrual cycle or you follow the moon cycle or the daily cycle or the yearly cycle, understanding your energetic rhythms over the course of your cycle will help you plan your days, your weeks, your months in ways that feel more natural and easeful to you. And this way you can have compassion when life happens because life will happen and you will not be able to follow, on, follow up on the plans that you made. But that's okay. You can have compassion for yourself. You can, for example, uh, you feel inward, but you've got a busy day full of meetings. Then at least you can have compassion and be gentle with yourself while you go through all these meetings. Allow your body and cycle to really guide you in this. Four, you are not broken and you don't need fixing. Neither does your body. You are in need of compassion and healing. Because it's usually that we feel broken when we have separated certain aspects from ourselves that weren't welcome. So we kind of shut them down, suppress them. And your job is to befriend them, to befriend these parts of yourself with compassion and allow them to be reintegrated 
so that you feel more whole and complete. You are whole and complete, like it's all there already inside of you. But when you reintegrate them and learn to accept them, these parts that you might not love so much about yourself, then you will feel more whole and complete. And you can understand that you are in fact a multifaceted being like we all are. Number five, your body is designed for health and healing when you create the environment for it. It needs compassion, it needs nervous system soothing, it needs reducing toxins and stressors, internal and external stressors from your environment. But when you create this environment, then your body strives for healing. And in case you do experience symptoms, it's your body's way of communicating with you. And when you learn how to communicate, what, how to read these signs your body gives you, then you can team up and you can become unstoppable allies in life. Six, you can take care of your pelvic health or your health in general, but especially your female health with relatively simple lifestyle habits, doing less things well and with care. And the most important part in this is presence. Because presence, pure presence, being present in the moment in the body is healing for yourself and also for others. So the, the five simple lifestyle tweaks that I like to mention are breathe well, breathing with your diaphragm engaged, meaning your ribcage extends into all di directions on the inhale and then gently relaxes on the exhale, breathing well. Drinking well, like staying hydrated, making sure your cells get the... Um, the hydration they need to stay smooth and flexible chewing well because your digestion begins in your mouth with your saliva moving well usually simply a more active lifestyle it's not about exercising or ha having these big workouts but more about having an active lifestyle and then resting well and rest isn't just sleep or napping Rest isn't sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Rest can have different flavors, can be being out in nature, it can be having a, getting a massage, it can be even talking to friends, can feel restful to you. You have to gauge that for yourself. There are different types of rest, but they are an important part in taking care of your health. Because I believe with the right guidance, you can actually take your health into your own hand without medication, without hormones, without surgery. There is nothing wrong with you if you choose any of these, like hormone, surgery, medication. That's not a problem, but choose them from an informed place. Seven, from war to love, it's never one step and it's never a straight line. And this comes out of what I learned from my own journey of going from body shame to body trust. Is first of all, it was about laying down the weapons, a truce with my body in this case. Then it's about getting to know the other person, starting to listen and understand through this understanding, developing a relationship with the other, again, the other person, or in my case, my body. And through that, developing this mutual respect, understanding the motives and why the other does what they do. And from this respect can come trust. And maybe in the future, it's going to be love and maybe not. And both are okay, because I believe this trust, especially in my case, my body trust goes a long way. Eight, it's not all on you. Self-responsibility only goes so far when you live in societal structures that are built on you policing yourself and you exploiting yourself. So, um, very often it's this idea of, oh, you're not where you want to be. Well, then it's your fault. You have to work harder. You have to do things better. And that is very self-destructive. We need healing. And there is a certain kind of healing that can only come in relationship with another person because the wound that was inflicted in relationship with another person. So we need a healthy group, a healthy community to heal which is rare today. So really tap into what you feel and where you feel truly cherished and accepted as you are with your whole multifaceted being. Number nine, everything in life is a relationship, whether to self, to others, to time, to money. And relationships aren't always easy. You might have noticed that already. They aren't always smooth and that's okay. <laughs> but you can work on them. You can communicate with an open heart, whether that's the relationship with another person or with your body or your relationship with uncertainty, for example. 
And the relationship with yourself is the most important one because the way you treat yourself and your body and not just on the outside treating your body in a certain way, but especially the tone of voice and your internal self-talk. The way you treat yourself and your body is the way that you treat others and ultimately the world. And last but not least, you and your cycle have the power to change the world. Because this world is set up in oppressive structures of linear cause and effect thinking, setting often setting unreasonable expectations on how we have to show up and perform, and that hurts everybody. So listening to your cycle, again, whether that's a monthly cycle or a daily cycle or a yearly cycle, will help you be more of you instead of performing as someone you are not. And that's why I personally lead a quiet revolution. I call it a quiet revolution because revolution comes from this word revolving. It's revolving around you. It's about prioritizing your joy, prioritizing your pleasure, not overriding others, but prioritizing yours. Because it means that then you can give from an overflow and that will feel so much more satisfying to other people when they receive it. And this is it. Those are my 10 points in 10. Let me know in the comments or via email or any other contact uh, details what insight or aha you are taking away from them. Much love.